Senator Mike Lee, yeah. Republican of Utah, is joining us live uh, right now. Uh, Senator Lee is very active in the Tea Party movement. Uh, Senator, what do you think? Are you going to vote in favor of this agreement? You know, I, I haven't seen the legislation yet. I haven't had an opportunity to read it yet. Based on the summary that I've received so far, I'm not inclined to support it. What I've said since uh, before I was even sworn into office, Wolf, is that I cannot support any effort to raise the debt limit that isn't accompanied by immediate uh, and permanent structural spending reform. And I, I think uh, for reasons I explained in my new book, The Freedom Agenda, that can't happen without an amendment to the Constitution that restricts Congress's borrowing power. What do you say to those who say you can't let per the perfect be the enemy of the good? This is a good deal. It averts default. It allows the process to go forward. A super co committee, Democrats and Republicans, equal in number, will now have a chance to come up with an even better deal by Thanksgiving. What do you say to those people, including the president, the speaker, uh, the Republican leader in the Senate, your leader in the Senate? Well, I, I say to that, I, I'm very happy with the fact that we're now talking about cuts. You know, six or seven months ago, here in this town, there were a lot of people who were talking about another stimulus package, about more spending. Now we're not talking about those things. We're instead talking about cutting trillions of dollars. Uh, notwithstanding that, we can't lose sight of the fact that this is a permanent problem. It's a long-term problem. And a short-term solution can't solve it. We can't commit that future Congresses will actually carry through with the spending cuts that we are presupposing right now in anticipation of raising our debt limit by an unprecedented two and a half trillion dollars. And Senator Mike Lee, it's Don Lemon in Atlanta. I have a question for you. Here's what we're hearing from the other side. We're hearing that that liberal Democrats should be just as outraged uh, as the Tea Party was about spending because they believe that that this is all politics and little economics in this deal. Yeah, well, look, I, I'm not going to script anyone on the left or the right on how they ought to vote on this. I'm certainly not going to be critical of others who might vote against it for other reasons. Uh, but as I've said all along, uh, whether you are a, a, a liberal and you're most concerned about protecting entitlement programs or you're a conservative and you're most concerned about protecting national defense, you ought to care about the fact that we need a balanced budget amendment. Because if we don't have one, we will continue this out-of-control deficit spending pattern. A pattern that, uh, if left unchecked, will eventually put us to the point where we'll be spending more on interest on our national debt than we spend on any other program. And that will rob everything from defense to entitlements. And by Are all accounts, by all accounts, I'm sorry, Wolf, the, the, the Republicans have gotten pretty much everything that they have wanted here, much of what they wanted. Democrats didn't. Um, what, what do you make of that, who, people who say that there has been very little compromise on Republicans, on the part of Republicans, and especially from freshman Tea Party members? Okay, I, I want to be clear about something. Uh, that is, we are getting a debt limit increase, a sizable one, in fact, the largest one in history. Now, just a few years ago, when it was uh, uh, a, a Republican in the White House, and you had the Democratic Party in the minority in the Senate, you had every single Democrat voting against raising the debt limit. And so um, we have to remember that we are, as Republicans, if this passes with Republican support, notwithstanding the fact that it likely will not get my vote, uh, that is itself a huge concession. I don't think it's fair at all to say Republicans are getting everything they want and Democrats are getting nothing that they want. Senator Lee, we got to wrap it up in a quick question, a technical question, but an important one. Uh, will you uh, uh, launch a filibuster in the Senate that would require 60 votes to break? You know, I think everyone is anticipating, and uh, I have been anticipating, and I will uh, fight for a 60-vote threshold on this. That does not mean that we have to wait necessarily the entire 30-hour time frame that you normally would with something like that. But I do anticipate a 60-vote threshold, and I anticipate requesting one. All right, Senator Lee, thanks very much for joining us. Senator Mike Lee, uh, the freshman senator from Utah, appreciate it very much.